Welcome to this MHS video lesson. This one's on using your MHS student account. Your class will be using MHS as part of your mathematics course this year. MHS is used in math classes within the classroom for homework support, for independent learning, and even for distance education. In this video, we will show you how to log into your account and explore all of the features. We will demonstrate how to complete assignments sent out by your teacher. We'll show you how to use MHS for independent learning at home or to review for class tests. If you have not used MHS before, then you will have a randomly generated username and password. Your teacher will either give you a printed copy of your credentials or email them to you. Your username will be two uppercase letters followed by numbers. Your password will be randomized numbers. Go to math-help-services.com and click on Member Login. Enter the username and password that you were given. Your username and password are case sensitive, so use uppercase letters where required. Click on Login to log into your MHS student account. Let's take a look at the possible causes for not being able to log in. Cannot locate account. This means that you entered the incorrect username and or password. Check those and try again. This message means that you are logging into an expired account. Make sure you are using the username and password that you were given for this year's math class. If you are still not able to log in, click on I forgot my password and enter your school and email address. A temporary password will be sent to your school email account. Use the username and password provided in that email to log in to MHS. This is what your MHS student account looks like when you log in from your internet browser. Here, you will find videos homework assignments, and workbook resources sent by your teacher. Here, you will find suggested retakes. This allows you to generate your own practice quizzes to help you study. This gives you access to every video lesson in your math course. This allows you to search for videos on topics that may be in a different course. This has a built-in scientific and graphing calculator. This is where you will find the digital workbook files for your course. Here you can ask your teacher for an extension on an assignment that can't be finished on time. You need to request an extension before the due date passes. This allows you to generate a retake for any homework assignment. This is where you go to send a message to your teacher. This is where you will go to prepare for your final exam. This shows you the scores on your MHS assignments and any others your teacher has entered. This is where you go to change your password or your email address. This lets you contact the support team at MHS if you have any tech questions. This gives you access to detailed lesson notes for each topic in the course. When you click on the Assignments tile, this window opens. If you want to go back to the home page, click the Home button in the upper right corner. The red circles show you that you've been assigned tasks by your teacher. We always start with the video lessons. Click on Play Lesson. While the lesson plays, you are encouraged to take notes. Pause the video if necessary. After the lesson, there are always five example problems with solutions. After the examples, there are 10 questions and solutions 
that are similar to the examples. You are encouraged to attempt to solve each question before you play the solution. After this, there are further opportunities to practice and master the concepts and skills. Your teacher will give you assignments as a follow-up to the video lesson. Click on the blue link to open and complete an assignment. If you see this pop-up, it means that your teacher is expecting you to show your work on the assignment. Remember to choose an answer before leaving the question. Click I understand to close the pop-up. To show your work, click on the pencil button to open the whiteboard tools. You can click on the pen to write out your work. Or click on the square root of x to use an equation editor to type your answer. You can also create shapes, import images, or use text boxes. Remember to click the multiple choice icon to select the right answer. If you need help answering a question, click on the video help. In video help, we show you a lesson clip where we solve a similar problem. If you need more than one example, we can give you another. If you click on the three dots, you have access to a calculator, a printer, and a video. The video is a full explanation of all the whiteboard features and how to use them. This menu gives you a shortcut to the five questions in the current assignment. Green circles are questions that have been answered. The question you are on is red. White circles are questions that still need to be answered. When you have answered all the questions, the Submit Assignment button turns green. After carefully reviewing your answers, click on Submit Assignment. The assignment is scored for you immediately. The eyeball icon lets you see the question, your answer, and the correct answer. From this screen, you can create a remedial. This is a retake with different questions. If you score better on the retake, the system will keep your best grade. Retakes show up under the Assignments tab. You'll be working on assignments and retakes after each lesson for practice. Improve My Understanding gives you a second chance to get perfect scores on your quizzes. Just click Improve My Understanding, click Create Remedial, then Take Remedial. If you obtain a better score, this will be recorded in your teacher's gradebook. If your teacher assigns tasks from the workbook, you will find them here. This is a multi-page chapter test. Click Open to view it. Your teacher may also provide an answer key to the practice test so you can self-check it. You can also use your MHS student account for independent learning. Feel free to explore topics even if they have not been assigned by your teacher. View videos gives you access to any lesson in your current class. Digital Textbook presents the content of each lesson video in the form of a printed book. Create Quiz is a great way to review independently for upcoming class tests. You can create a five-question quiz for any lesson in your current math class.
Video help is also available on quizzes. You can create multiple quizzes on each topic. These are scored to let you know how you're doing. But the grades do not go in your teacher's gradebook. If you have technical questions about your account or the MHS site, contact the help desk. The MHS help desk will send a response to the email address that we have on file for you. You can also download the MHS student app for your mobile device. Once it has been downloaded, look for the MHS icon on your screen. Open it and log in using your username and password. When you open the app for the first time, a video automatically starts and explains how to use the app. The home page of the app has almost all of the things that you will find in assignments. You can always return to the home page by clicking here. You can't access workbook assignments or downloadable assignments sent by your teacher, however. To get to these, click on Settings to open the MHS site in your web browser. The app will take you directly into your account in your web browser without needing to log in again. When completing an assignment, there is another notable difference on the mobile app. Show Your Work activates the camera on your phone. That's so you can take a photo of the work that you've done. The photo of your work will be submitted to your teacher along with your answer to the question. If your class is using the MHS printed workbooks, you will notice that there are QR codes at the top of these pages. I'll click Scan on the app. Using my phone's camera, the app will find the video solutions to the questions on the page. These videos are aligned with the questions in the Skill Builder. If I click on Solution 1, a video comes up explaining the process involved in solving this question. So whenever you are stumped on a question, use the QR code to find the perfect video to get you started. You'll find everything you need for independent learning by going to Study, View Videos, and Create Quiz. I have three important reminders for you. 1. Keep your username and password somewhere safe. 2. Check your email so you don't miss any assignments. And 3. Keep a notebook and pencil for note-taking when using MHS. Thanks for watching and good luck in your math course! Keep learning mathematics and stay well.